Welcome to this part of the Core Trust Deal 2023-2025 Requirements video series. I am Pascal Floor of Duns, the Dutch uh, Expertise Center and Repository of Research Data. In this video series, we talk you through the new Core Trust Deal requirements. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applicants, extended guidances, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number three, continuity of service. It gives a summary and highlights the most important aspects, but please do refer to the full guidelines for the complete requirement text and extended guidelines for more guidance. Also, if you have not already done so, I recommend you watch the general introduction video to this ser series first. The third requirement of Core Trust Seal is continuity of service, and it reads as follows. The repository has a plan to ensure ongoing access to and preservation of its data and metadata. This requirement relates to the measures a repository should have in place to address risks inherent in changing circumstances, including in mission and or scope. These are themselves discussed in the video about requirement one. While many, if not everyone, agree that this is an important requirement for a trustworthy repository, it is considered one of the hardest requirements to fulfill. Why is this a requirement of a trustworthy repository? For depositors and users, it is important that the continued preservation of and access to the digital objects in a repository are guaranteed. Even in worst case scenarios like decreased or even lack of funding for a repository. Therefore, a repository must have measures in place to address the risks inherent in changing circumstances. They must ensure continuity of their collections and assume responsibility in the case of a temporary or permanent break in service. To clarify, the scope of this requirement includes depositing, storage, preservation and access services. It does not include technical aspects. These are covered in requirement 15. The requirement covers business continuity, so the stable management of repository services over time. It also covers disaster recovery, so the response when services have problems, and succession planning, so preparations for the handover of digital objects and services to another repository if this is necessary. The response statement and the evidence should demonstrate um, functions and services offered by the repository to depositors and users. So, what is the level of responsibility taken for digital objects by the repository? And are functions and services maybe shared with others? Uh, relevant information here could include whether the applicant is the primary or only custodian or whether the depositor shares some responsibility and if so, with whom, what is shared and so on. Uh, it should also cover the approach to rapid changes in circumstances and long-term planning. Uh, for example, what is the level of risk for the repository? Further, uh, the level of succession planning should be included. What are the options for relocation or transition of the activity to another repository? For example, in the case of cessation of funding or a shift of the host institution's interest. And finally, it should also include the approach to managing policies, procedures or business over time. If sustainability partially depends on a host or parent organization or another organization has guaranteed that it will take over responsibility in the case of service discontinuity, this should be clearly indicated. While getting such a formal agreement is a challenge for many, especially to guarantee the same levels of care and service, this is important. If there is no formal written agreement between the repository and the successor, then the compliance level cannot be higher than in progress. However, such an in-progress status is accepted even during renewal of the certification, as long as it is clearly explained. Here are some uh, examples. Uh, please note that these are made-up examples and also they're only partial examples, just some phrases, not the complete requirement text that would be assumed to be there. This first example is a good example. The repository clearly has succession planning in place and there is evidence for it in a written agreement. The second example, though, is a bad example. It is not acceptable to just assume that the repository will not be closed. In order to gain a court trust seal, it is necessary to show succession planning is in place, 
even if it is unlikely that the plans are needed. Uh, the third example is good, even though not perfect. The repository clearly shows that they are working on it, and in this case, it would be acceptable for an in-progress status. Uh, this would not prevent the awarding of a court to a seal, since it has explained what the situation is and what is being done about it. So, what changes have been made to this requirement compared to the previous version of the requirement? The place in the order and structure of the requirements has remained unchanged. This requirement is still number three, and it is still related to the topic of organizational infrastructure. What has changed is that the word access has been replaced by servers and holdings by data and metadata. Also, the word continuity has been removed as it was superfluous. The change from access to service more accurately reflects the scope of the requirement since it covers ongoing services offered by the repository, including access, but also including measures to ensure ongoing preservation. It also avoids possible confusion with access in the sense used by the FAIR principles. This concludes the instruction on requirement three of the new core trust seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the Core Trust Seal YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period 2023 to 2025 on the Core Trust Seal website. If you have any remaining questions or would like more information, please contact Core Trust Seal using the email address shown here.